everybody welcome back to my channel today we're going to do a diy dollar tree farmhouse fabric pumpkin topiary super easy and inexpensive we're going to use two buckets from the dollar tree i picked the ones with the sunflowers on but we'll talk about it in a minute you're going to need two of the carvable pumpkins um, as well as two velvet pumpkins i chose the color of orange but there are other varieties out there depending on your decor and then i'm going to use two of the burlap pumpkins what makes this so super simple and easy is that two of the pumpkins are already covered in fabric and then i'm going to embellish it with these wooden ornament pumpkins as well as the um some of these wooden ornament sticker pumpkins that came from the Dollar Tree this year. And of course, you're going to need your glue gun. Um, and we're also going to use a two of these microfiber cloths um, that you can find in the automotive section. And you can really use any fabrics that you want and any colors that you want. It's entirely up to you. What I'm actually going to show you here really quick um, is an even easier not fabric pumpkin we're just going to take the orange pumpkin basically this is an orange topiary just to show you that there are options so i liked the orange and this sunflower and i thought how cute it would look if we just took the orange pumpkins so i took the stem out of the one foam pumpkin just lined it up twisted it for its nice size to nice nice side to be forward and then i took one of the orange velvet pumpkins from the dollar tree and as you see I, t I have two of them for this project. One of them, the stem came out super easy, and the other one, the stem was like all stuck to the velvet. But if you happen to pull out the fabric, all you need to do is shove it back down in the hole. And I stacked that orange on top. And then this is one of the orange burlap pumpkins. And I thought that this was a super cute done project you can embellish it of course with any kind of if you wanted to put stickers or leaves or tendrils or any of that stuff it would look super cute but i just wanted to show you how the three different textures would look all in orange tones okay that being aside i first thought well not first thought i thought and i did i was going to take these sunflowers off and i heard somebody I feel like somebody said it was pretty easy but I will tell you I did not find that so um, it, it is riveted in two spots and it pretty much you have to like pull so hard that the bucket kind of gets bent out of shape and I found that I couldn't really um, well I could I saved the sunflowers but I had to like shape them back into put them back into shape um, because they got all bent out of whack but I used my pliers and they're connected at the top pedal, behind the top pedal, behind the bottom pedal, across from each other at basically at 12 and 6 o'clock. And I just really had to like go back and forth and back and forth and pull and pry. I started at the top with the first one and then the bottom with the second one. And on the second one I started on the bottom and as I started to pull the pedal up, it was making the hole like it was ripping the metal. So I was like, yeah, let's not do that again. <laughs> I actually thought, oh, these would just be cute if I could twist them off and then just leave a little hole. I knew I wanted to cover the hole. I originally thought I might want to paint them. And I may go back, actually, and paint them. Um, but I couldn't decide what color. Because I have a white and a natural and a orange pumpkin in there, I wasn't really sure what color I wanted to paint the buckets. Um, and the other option I had is we you could just use two of the galvanized tin ones, which would be really cute. Maybe the ones even with the jute on them. Originally, I just stuck the pumpkins on there, and you can't really see the flower unless you, uh, like, the flower print unless you look under the, you know, like, on the side or whatever, which, again, I didn't think was objectionable, but you guys do what works for you. Again, I just was trying to keep this cheap and easy, and it ended up not being cheap and a little difficult. If I had my druthers and I could go back in time, I would leave the sunflowers on there. So we're going to take this giant white pumpkin and we're going to cover it with the chamois cloth. Um, the chamois cloth does have like a smoother fur side and then like a rougher fur side. You pick which texture you want as long as you, if you're going to make two topiaries, then go ahead and make sure you pick the same side for both. But basically what we're doing is we're going to take one, like a square of the chamois. So we're going to take the chamois and we're going to fold it from corner to side and then make like cut the square out. And what we did was we took the big pumpkin drilled kind of a big hole in it and um, just stuffed all the corners in um, Olivia from Olivia's romantic home made a bunch of fabric pumpkins like this and um, she's got tons of tutorials on her channel you guys really need to go check her out she's so much fun um, but when you when I pulled the velvet out of the um, 
<laughs> when I pull the stem out of the velvet pumpkin, it's pretty much how the Dollar Tree's factory makes them as well. It just hugs up all the fabric and then you stuff all the ends down in the hole. If you need to make your hole bigger, um, go ahead. If you want to stick some hot glue down there, um, just be mindful if you can see on this one that um, I wasn't keeping it centered and then I ended up having like a little area that was like a little holiday or whatever, okay? So... You just stuff all the corners down in there and you can glue them or not glue them. That's up to you. And then once you have them all done, I took the bucket and I just put a rim of glue. First I dry fit it. I put the rim of glue inside the bucket and then turned it over onto the pumpkin. Um, as you can see here, I just that just helps the glue settle down. Um, you know, because once you glue it facing up, the gravity wants to pull it towards the bottom of the bucket. So what you do is you turn it upside down so that the glue go ahead goes ahead and falls onto the pumpkin. And then we take the stems out of the velvet pumpkin. Like I said, one of them was super easy. The other one was like difficult and was pulling velvet out. But just make sure you stick it back and whatever, you, whatever happens, just fix it up. Glue it on top of the white pumpkin. And then basically you just leave the burlap pumpkin the way it is. I cut the tag off. And then you glue that on the very, very top. And I love this because it's three different textures of fabric. They're all solid colors, which is what I liked. I originally was thinking I wanted one of them to be one of the buffalo checks, but I really liked the way it came out, the way it was solid. Um, now I'm taking, this is, an, this is just an option. We have lots of leaves on our channel, but these are the uh, oak leaves, the burlap oak leaves from the Dollar Tree. And I've taken one and I'm kind of cutting the... I'm kind of cutting it in half to create two leaves, if that makes any sense. I've cut the bottom, I mean the top three prongs off and left the bottom four prongs. And then what I did was once I had the wire separated, I went ahead and I shortened those two top prongs on the bottom half of the leaf to kind of make it look like two leaves. Um, and then I just used my wire cutter because it's a wire and um, I left the top leaf um, the pop top section of the, leaf, <coughs> the top section of the leaf I put between the white pumpkin and the orange pumpkin basically uh, between the first and second levels and then I took the bottom rest of the leaf and like I said I trimmed it down I just matched the way that the factory had cut it I just made it shorter because those two sections are really really long after you cut the top off um, so I just basically cut the same shape just shorter and then I took that and I stuck it with its wire um, under the bottom bucket, I mean under the bottom pumpkin. And again, you don't have to embellish these like this, you could stop. You could have put, we could have put Spanish moss or, or reindeer moss or really the, this, the limits are really uh, to your own imagination. If you like raffia, that would be really cute too. <laughs> And then I took the two little clippings that were left over off of each leaf and I back, basically glued them on top of each other to kind of create a little leaf for the top of the pumpkin. All right. Oh, I just realized I didn't tell you about the wire edged jute. I'm so dumb. I'm so sorry. It's so basically I'm taking this wire jute. <laughs> this, uh, this wire jute cord that we have at the Dollar Tree that we've been, I've had forever and I never used. If you've been to, on my channel for a while, and we're actually going to redo a video from two years ago because I had accidentally shot it in stop motion, and I know it was very difficult for a lot of people to see. So we're going to do a similar one this year. But what I'm going to do on that one is I'm showing you how we wrapped a piece of floral wire with jute to create the tendrils. And then two years later, the Dollar Tree came out with wired jute, which I thought was pretty cool. This will twist off of the wire so actually when you want to make sure you cut it you want to make sure you glue the piece on the end plus the piece on the the new the new beginning of the next piece um, you want to do that so it doesn't unravel on you then we just wrapped it around a pencil to create tendrils for the bottom layer to go with that bottom leaf and then excuse me the leaf between the white the first and second pumpkin and then I've taken a smaller tube this is like the inside of a little drinking bottle and I went ahead and I wrapped it around that just to make a tighter tendril and I also pushed them closer together you can also wrap this around your finger which is how we did it in our old DIY and this is just creating smaller tendrils for the top and again glue the ends not only the end that you're going to be putting in the pumpkin but the end that you're leaving behind 
Um, just like when we work with nautical rope, you want to make sure you tape the end. Uh, this is sort of the same thing, okay? And then I just glued them straight to the stem, right by the leaf. And that's it. I know. I know. I know. It's really cute and so simple and so easy. But then I realized I'm not really in love with just the pumpkins down there. So I found the stickers and the colored stick, the pumpkin stickers that are just all pumpkins, had two of the same size, same colored orange pumpkin, which I thought was really cute to add to the wood pumpkin. And then in the other sticker packet that was leaves and pumpkins had two of the same sized uh, wood pumpkins that were a little smaller and I just created a layer effect but like I said you could skip this whole process and leave the sunflowers <laughs> or, or use different pails anyhow that's it they're so cute I love the touch of green which is really why I wanted to leave the pails I picked these pails but I love the touch of green I love the touch of orange I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial if you do give this video a thumbs up don't forget to share with friends and family anybody who might be interested in learning how to make these super easy super super easy um to topiaries or even this one the orange one which was even easier and if you haven't yet click subscribe when you do a little bell will pop up when you ring that bell youtube will let you know whenever i upload a new video and as always you take care god bless and we'll see you next time bye <laughs>